interesting. Yeah. And so what are your predictions on the match? Oh, so this is a hard <laughs> one because Eglin and I, we have a little bit of history. We pulled last time over 10 years ago. I have never even been close in beating her. It's Okay, here we are with Sarah Bachman. Bachman? Bachman? Bachman is probably the more correct way. It's, when you say it's completely different in Swedish, then... How do you I'm say it in Swedish? Bäckman. Because oh. we have a, I have an A with two dots on it, so it's Bäckman. Okay. But uh, for Americans, it's uh, Bachman. Yeah, that's what threw me off. I didn't yeah. know it was Bachman, Bachman. Yeah. Okay, thank you for yeah. clarifying that. Yeah. <laughs> See, that was important. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes even bob learned something yeah. See that? <laughs> anyway so uh you, you were nice enough to come visit us in utah oh, bob's yeah. barn uh we like to consider it the mecca of, of arm wrestling at least i do personally. i i must agree like this has been an incredible experience but, and yeah you had a practice last night with People from all over the state, mm. literally from down south, mm. all the way down St. George came up, uh, all the way up at Logan came down. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to see you. Oh. And uh, boy, you, you didn't disappoint for three hours straight. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. And I have to admit, I took advantage. I waited till everybody else pulled you before I pulled you. Thanks for being gentle with me. Um, but I, I just thought I'd like to ask you, how did you... We were just talking about how you were 16 in arm wars. Mm -hmm. How did you get started in arm wrestling? So I found arm wrestling uh, in, back in 2006 when I was 13 years old. I won an arm wrestling competition in my school. And it was uh, just a normal arm wrestling competition on a table. No like technique or anything. It was just sideways. But I won this competition. Um, and I beat like all the girls that participated and even guys. So my... Um, teacher that set this up at the time he was like you know that you can do this as a sport and you can be a world champion there's actually several girls here in sweden that are world champions and i was like mind blown and um i um i went to the um, stockholm team and it was november 19 2006 <laughs> so my anniversary is coming up anyway um yeah my life changed forever that day it was a Sunday, and I saw the girls training. They were climbing ropes, uh, Marlin and Thea. And they just welcomed me with open arms. They taught me, and I was hooked. Like, I knew that this is my thing. I was obsessed from that day forward. <laughs> so who influenced you the most with your arm wrestling? Who taught you the most? Yeah, so uh, we have this girl in Sweden. Her name is Heidi Anderson, and she's, I think, 12, 13 time world champion. At the time, she was a uh, eight time world champion, like 17 years ago or something. And she had made a documentary about her life. And she lives in the north part of Sweden in a village called The Solitude. And there's like 20 family members living in this uh, village. Wow. So everybody are related, everybody arm wrestles, and everybody are world champions. Wow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she made a documentary where you go into her barn and like, she trains and uh, she travels to the world championship in Canada. She wins and um, she influenced me the absolute most. I wanted to become her. Like I wanted to do whatever she was doing. And it was cool when I started, like, cause I met her and you know how arm wrestling is like a family, right? Yeah. So she went from being my idol to being my friend and opponent within like a year. Wow. <laughs> so that was also like a real cool experience. Wow. Yeah. And so then, obviously, you grew up in Sweden. When, when did you move to the United States? So I moved to the United States in 2013. I actually just bought a one-way ticket uh, to L.A. I wanted some vacation, and I just trained at the Gold's Gym over there. And uh, um, I was um, approached and asked if I wanted to do uh, an audition for, or a tryout for WWE. And I didn't know what WWE was at the time. So I was like, sure, like, why not? And I sucked at this edition. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I couldn't speak much English and I couldn't do the moves. But they're like, we want to hire you. <laughs> so they, they fixed my work visa. And a year later, um, I moved to Florida. And it's been 10 years now. So. 10 years in Florida. Yeah. 
And then it was interesting last night when we were talking, you don't go to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would think living yeah. in Florida, you'd be at the beach every yeah. day. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we talked about it too. Like you live here in this beautiful scenery and the mountains and you take it for granted. And I think it's the same being in Florida. Like I know the beach is right there. So it's, I don't feel like rushed to go there. But recently I have actually been to the beach more often uh, than I've ever been <laughs> over the 10 years. So I don't know. I definitely should go more often. All right. If you're in Florida and you go to the beach, you might run into her. Maybe. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to put that out there too much. But, uh, and then, so what do you do in Florida for money? Yeah. So um, me and my husband, we have uh, two gyms. And um, that's mainly uh, what I'm doing. Uh, but then, you know, arm wrestling, the, the matches and some social media and things like that. And you do have a big match coming up. Yeah. That's one of the reasons you're here. Uh, you trained with Bob. What did you think of Bob's training? So it was so awesome. Um, it's such a crucial time, right? Like it's only four weeks out. So to see Bob and to pick his brain was so valuable to me because he knows arm wrestling better than most people and he has this intelligence so where he understand physics and logic like I, I go mostly on feeling but he actually studied studied Eglib before I got here and he's like all right this is what you have to do so this is like what we worked on for three hours yesterday and it feels so good to have this with me going into this match oh fantastic yeah and so what are your predictions on the match oh so this is a hard one because Eglin and I, we have a little bit of history. We pulled last time over 10 years ago. I have never even been close in beating her. It's always been. But I was young and way lighter than I am now. We were in completely, like two completely different weight classes. She was a heavyweight. I was like 20, 30, 40 pounds lighter at the time. But now we're more equal. And... Uh, I don't know. It's going to be so interesting. Also, we both recently lost to Gabby. So it's just one of those matches that are like, it's interesting. Like, how is it going to go? We don't know. Like, it's going to tell so much. So like, I really don't know. I but have being no idea. that you're here shows that you want every edge possible. Oh my God. This is very serious. Oh no, it's, I'm, I'm very like the, the second I knew that she was kind of back to the sport. I mean, she's always been a bucket list person to beat for me. Um, so when this opportunity came, I immediately, it's all I've been thinking about for uh, four or five months now. So yeah, I'm all in. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, we're all excited to see that happen. Yeah. And of course we all wish you the best oh, and everything else. Yeah. And, uh, Anyway, well, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. And, of and of course, all your fans are going to yeah, yeah. be happy to see you. <laughs> and, awesome. uh, yeah, and the Utah folks, we all welcome you back. Mm, uh, yeah. It was wonderful last night. Mm. I haven't seen this place as full as it was last night. Crazy. In fact, uh, we did some training videos. Um, I hope they come out mm -hmm. with all the people that were tripping on the tripod and pushing me around and stuff a uh, standard yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not too rough yeah. but yeah um that will those will not be out until after your match mm -hmm. just yeah. yeah don't look at bob's channel till then no you can look <laughs> at bob's channel but it's not going to be her stuff okay <laughs> yeah all right thanks appreciate thank it very much. So much thank you